we're going to take a look at the One Smart Keyboard Pro app along with the One Smart Keyboard Pro. Straight ahead. Welcome back guys to AlexFromTechHarris.com and we're going to take a quick look at the One Smart Keyboard Pro, the app, as well as the piano. It's going to be a quick walkthrough, nothing major. Just want to show you what the app does and what the piano does. We're going to go really quick. Uh, we're going to turn the piano on at the power button right there. And that turns the piano on. And the knob is the volume button. And if you push down on it, that selects the sound that you want. And you can turn the knob and you'll see the LEDs go across. And that'll change the sound, the piano sound, organ sound, whatever sound you want. Uh, I wish that this had an, uh, an LCD indicator somewhere in here where you it could tell you what sound you're actually playing, but it doesn't. So right now, you can hear that. We're in that sort of sound. And you can choose whatever you want. Um, and if you push down again, that gives you just the, the, uh, the, the volume. So you can turn the volume up. Turn the volume down. For our purposes, we'll bring it up a little bit so we can hear it. And um, now we're going to go over through the app here. This is the One Smart Keyboard Pro app. Now, the company has a few different uh, electronic keyboards you can use the app with. Uh, this is the 88 key full size keyboard. And you see there's four different uh, sections here sheet music, crash course, videos, and games. Uh, sheet music, if you select sheet music, it'll take you into the app and it'll give you different types of sheet music you can choose from. Uh, everything from, you know, Hey Jude from the, uh, the Beatles to just more kind of uh, classical stuff and, um, you know, different types of uh, sheet music you can choose from. Now, some of the sheet music does cost money, like the, the Beatles one is $3.99, so not everything is free on this app. I do wish everything was free, but unfortunately I guess they have to pay royalty fees to the artists for this, so you're not going to get everything free, so you will have, have in-app purchases. But there is quite a bit of stuff here for free. So uh, we're going to go back home and we'll show you the Crash Course. Crash Course just kind of throws you right into a song like Auld Lang Syne, and you uh, just fire it up. So now we're plugged in. And it says device has been connected, so you can you can hit play, and it's just like um, it's just like a uh, Guitar Hero, and you see right there that it shows you the colors to to push on the uh, actual app, and you're supposed to follow along. And it goes through sections, of course. Here I scored a zero because I did nothing, but hit repeat. But if I show you down on the keyboard, it indicates with LEDs right along with the app which ones you should be pushing. In a minute, I'm going to have my daughter play something here so you can have a sense of what it's like. And then there's videos, and videos are more like an instructional tutorial thing, as you can see there. And there's uh, plenty to get started with there. And games is a lot like, um, like the Crash Course. It's basically a Guitar Hero-esque type of thing. So Let's take a look at this in action. My daughter's going to demo this for us just right now. All right, so we're going to try Let It Go from Frozen. And basically what she's going to do here is you can start the app and it'll play the song and you have to play along with it. But in this case, it's a pretty complicated song, so the piano actually lights up the LEDs. You can see that one there for the right hand, and over there for the left hand uh, position. And then she'll start playing those LED lights, and it'll be the notes for Let It Go. It might not sound uh, exactly like the song right off the bat here, because she's going to be going slow, but here we go.
so you can tell that is the gist of using the keyboard itself and just a little bit just a small portion of what the app is supposed to do for you anyway that is the one smart pro keyboard be sure to check out the full review we'll link below and we'll talk to you guys on the other side Thank <laughs> you.